you want to run a plate on our loader that has a slightly different well-to-well -well geometry than the plates that SciTech has tested and recommended to use, you can adjust the calibration using the admin user account. To do this, first go to Preferences and put everything into Plate Mode down here. Make sure your loader is set up, that your gate shifter is in the proper position for plate pulled all the way to the front. And before you do that, make sure there's no tube on the SIP so you don't crack any tubes off of the SIP. Next, in Acquisition, you can go to this icon here, Plate Calibration. Select the plate type that you want to adjust the calibrations for. So today I'm going to try a new V-bottom plate. Then, select this A1 radio button. Wait for the loader to home. At this point, I'm going to eject my plate. I haven't loaded it yet. And I will place it on my loader. Okay, once I'm there, I'm going to toggle back and forth to get it to go to A1 again. Click cancel for this. Okay, now that I'm over A1, you'll want to eyeball it from the front and adjust the left to right positioning. You can use these left and right arrow keys to move. Let's see. If you want to take larger steps, hold the shift and control key while pressing the arrow keys. Once you're happy with left to right, go ahead and eyeball the front to back. This is kind of tricky with the really dark loader cover lid. Um, sometimes I'll use my, my fingers to kind of feel it out or try and bring in a really bright flashlight to light up the inside of the loader while you're making these adjustments. So move it back in front until you get it roughly centered. It doesn't have to be perfect. With the 96 wells, the wells are fairly big, so there's a lot of room for error. Okay, once you're happy with your A1 position, go ahead and check the mixing motor depth. Toggle to that radio button. I'm going to click continue and it will bring my mixing probe down into the well. Again, you can take big steps if you hold the control and shift keys while pressing the arrow to make your adjustments. Okay, once you're happy with your settings, it saves automatically. You simply toggle away back to your experiment. You'll notice the loader will home, saving the changes you've made at this point, and you are ready to continue with your day.